Hi team, this is Chris Abraham. I want to take a second look at problem number 28 on the general curriculum subtest. This is for uh, t elementary and uh, elementary school teachers and special education teachers that are pre preparing to take the math MTELs, the general curriculum math MTEL. This is a really cool problem and I, as I was making it I said, whoa, there's another way to do it and, and maybe even a better way to uh, approach number 28. So. Let's consider this 28, part B. Take a moment to read it over because we're jumping right in with drawing the picture of the two pools. And I'm going to show you a quick way to solve it. Thanks a lot. Uh, check out one of the workshops and have a great day. Thank you. Each pool has um, you know, a certain amount of uh, pumps that are pumping out water. So I'm going to make a note here real quick. This one here has 5,400 gallons. This one has 4,000 gallons. Now this one has, the first one, we'll say pool A, first pool B, pool A has four pumps. Each one of those pumps is going to be pumping this, pumping out water. Equal amounts of water. So how much is each pump going to be pumping out if they're equally pumping out an equal amount of water? Wouldn't that be, one? each one would do one-fourth of 5,400? It's here. Let me use that as a division sign here. Let's see. What is 5,400 divided by 4? Because I want to find out what one-fourth of each one of those uh, chunks of the pool are, portions of the pool are. So here we do our, our division. Not that hard division. I want you to do it. You should get in the habit of doing it. So if you're watching me do this now, I want you to stop it. Do it on your own. Um, and then I want you to go back and check to see, you know, if you did it right. Okay, so I got, you hopefully you stopped it. I'm trusting that you stopped it. I got 1,350 gallons, 1,350 gallons for each one of those, each one of those spaces. Great. So, what does that mean? Well, if there, if the, if the, if our uh, pump here is pump, if all the pumps are the same, so these four are the same with these two, then it makes sense that these two pumps are only going to get to two portions, right? So it means that they're only going to, out of this four thousand, the two pumps in the same amount of time the top one takes, the bottom one's going to be able to get out this much. So let's see what is this collectively. Let's push that down a little bit. Well, this portion right here would be 2,700. That's what would they would be able to do in the same amount of time. Um, that's what the two pumps would be able to pump out, 2,700 gallons in the same amount of time that the four pumps are pumping out, each um, gallon pumping out 1,350 gallons. So what would be left over? Well, this would be the difference. Let me put in a slightly a better color because that could be uh, um, 1,300. How do I get that? Well, I take my 4,000 and I just subtract, you know, 2,700. How to get the 2,700? Because that's 1,350 plus 1,350 or 1,350. I subtract these two. I get the remainder, what the portion of the pool that hasn't pumped out yet um, after one round of the pumping. Okay, so I don't know if this visual approach helped out a little bit better, but the answer is still A. All right, team, I hope you found this, this second way of looking at number 28 on the general curriculum math subtest helpful. Have a wonderful day, and I uh, hope to see you at one of the workshops in Harvard Square, or you can sign up for one-to-one -one tutoring on the website. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.